Hi there strikers. There's something uniquely disturbing about people vanishing into thin air. Read about these incredibly strange, unsolved cases although these disappearances span centuries, locations, age ranges, and circumstances, there's one common thread shared between them, a lack of closure. There are theories, speculations, and investigations, but never a decisive answer. On our incoming, episode I'm going to feature some of the cases of mysterious disappearances of some missing that just disappear without any trace. Appearance of Brian Braunberger Brian Braunberger spent the evening off May 31st. 2007 playing video games and watching television at a friend's house in New Westminster, B.C. During the early morning hours of June 1st, the 18-year-old teenager said goodbye to his friend, got into his 1988 red Honda Civic, and began his five-minute drive home to Burnaby, B.C. The next day, police located Brian's vehicle at the George Derby Centre in the 7500 block of Cumberland Street the seniors complex where Brian's grandfather lived. This location is roughly two minutes away from Brian's house. When police searched the vehicle and the surrounding area, they noticed that the car headlights were on. Brian's identification was inside the vehicle. The car was unlocked and the car keys were missing. The authorities contacted Brian's parents, who had just returned that day from holidays, and told them that their son's car had been abandoned and towed. When people disappear, a common and optimistic theory is that the person ran off to start a new life. In Brian's case, this is possible, but extremely unlikely. Brian was happy with his job, close with his parents, and had good friends. Also, it seems doubtful he would leave his much-loved car behind. Moreover, he does not strike me as a mastermind who could have engineered his own disappearance and remained hidden for all of these years. By all accounts, Brian was happy. He had a job, a loving family, good friends, and a car that he barbied. According to his parents, before they left on holidays, Brian seemed his usual self and was following his normal routine. When Brian left his friend to head home during the wee morning hours of June 1st, Brian's friend said that he was in good spirits and mentioned that he had to get home since he worked the next day. This does not seem like someone who is ready to take their own life. Although it is impossible to know what is going on inside someone's head, Neither the police nor the family have hinted that suicide was a possibility in Brian's disappearance. Plus, shortly after Brian vanished, Thurcomp, Coquitlam Search and Rescue, and other volunteers searched multiple times for Brian, even using trained dogs three times. If you kill yourself, I would say it would be difficult to so expertly hide your own body. Taking all of this into consideration, I believe that Brian did not commit suicide. This seems to be the most likely possibility in Brian's disappearance. Unfortunately, there was no sign of a struggle around or in Brian's car. No blood was found, and there appears to be nothing forensically useful discovered at the scene. Brian had no criminal associates and no police record, making it unlikely that he was killed by someone he knew. However, if someone did murder Brian, I am wondering how they got him out of his car without leaving any evidence. Could he have been taken when he arrived at home and his car moved to throw the police off track? Was there solid evidence proving that Brian ever really left his friend's house? There are so many unanswered questions. Interestingly, five other young men disappeared from southwestern BC from June 2006 to June 2007. Many of the families of these men noted that all of the men were young, athletic, and good-looking. They suggested that some, if not all, of the six cases could be linked. The police, though, are adamant that there is zero evidence linking the cases. Could there have been a serial killer at work in the region who has gotten away with murder? At work in the region who has gotten away with murder? Nothing has ever transpired from this serial killer theory, and media coverage of this possibility quickly faded away. A couple of weeks after Brian vanished, Ron and Janice, Brian's parents, received an anonymous phone call. They were told to check their mailbox. They discovered a ransom note demanding money in exchange for information about Brian's whereabouts. Three days after the call, 20-year-old Banabi resident Hassin was apprehended by the police and charged with extortion. Sadly, this was nothing but a cruel hoax that needlessly caused Brian's parents more pain. Brian's family still desperately seeks information about what happened to their son. His M.O.M. Janice explained, It's as if the earth opened up and swallowed him. Please help Brian's loved ones attain at least some sense of closure by helping to locate Brian. What do you think happened to Brian? 
And that's for all today's video. This has been a striker 21. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and to subscribe.